Now we're going to do experiment 13, building the backbone. So first let's lay all the pieces on the table. And note that what we're doing right now is similar to what many researchers in the 1950s were doing when they were trying to figure out the shape of a DNA molecule. They were working with individual pieces and trying to build models, like you're about to do. And models are really helpful tools because they help you play with and understand an enlarged version of reality. DNA molecules are really, really, really small, so it's helpful to actually play with them in a size that we can see and feel. So these are the building blocks of an enlarged DNA molecule. And you'll see a few different parts. You'll see these five-sided pieces right here. These represent sugar molecules. These long black strands represent phosphoric acid. And then these pieces, you'll notice once you start putting the molecule together that two colors are always represented in the same quantity as each other, and then two other colors are always represented in the same quantity as each other. So let's start building the DNA molecule and see what it looks like. And in the manual, you see two of these shapes, so let's actually make two of them. Okay, and then in order to attach the bases, we're going to move on to experiment 14 and completing the DNA. So you'll notice that you can connect the bases to each other. You'll notice that some pieces fit with each other and some don't. So blue and yellow fit together and yellow and green fit together. So you can make a few of these. As it shows in the manual, the red represents adenine, the green represents thymine, the blue represents guanine, and the yellow represents cytosine. And they're abbreviated with the letters A, T, G, and C. So the next thing we need to do is figure out how all of these pieces go together. This is what scientists were trying to do. And they realized that all of these pieces would fit together like a ladder. So you can start putting the bases in the holes in the sugar molecules. And then you're going to have to connect the other strand to the bases. Might be a little tricky. And now we have a model of a DNA molecule.